Expressing dislikes through time. Mastering tenses. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a crucial part of conversational English, expressing dislikes. But, we're not stopping there. We're going to explore how to express dislikes in different tenses. You might think, well, dislikes are dislikes. Why do tenses matter? And that's what we're about to find out. So, buckle up, and let's get started. When we express dislikes in the present tense, we typically use the verb, do not like, or don't like. For example, I don't like spinach. It's quite simple, isn't it? But how about making it negative in the present continuous form? Then we'd say, I'm not enjoying this book. Here, we're expressing a dislike for something we're experiencing at the moment. Moving on to the past tense, things get a bit more interesting. To express dislikes about past events or situations, we use did not like or didn't like. For example, I didn't like the movie we watched yesterday. Also, remember that we can use was not enjoying to express dislikes in the past continuous tense. For instance, I was not enjoying the party, so I left early. Now, let's hop on to the future. Expressing dislikes in the future might seem odd, but it's quite common in conversational English. We use, will not like, or, won't like. For example, I won't like it if it rains tomorrow during our picnic. For a continuous dislike in the future, we could say, I won't be enjoying the long drive tomorrow. Finally, we arrive at the conditional tense. This is used when expressing dislikes that depend on certain conditions. The most common form is, would not like, or wouldn't like. For instance, I wouldn't like to work on weekends. And that's it. You've now explored expressing dislikes in various tenses. The next time you find yourself in a conversation, Remember these structures and use them to articulate your dislikes effectively. Practice makes perfect, so keep using these phrases in your daily conversations. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget, learning a language is a journey, so enjoy every step. Until next time, happy learning!